What's everybody? Just playing some loop games. Been learning this character. He's pretty dope. Uh, I liked him in 5 a little bit, but he's really sick for wh how, whoever coded him in Mugen. He's really fun to play, so. So you got a couple games with a couple nerfed character opponents. But this guy's still kind of cheap, so. Oh, I walked under that. Getting my punches down back. Yeah, there you go. Try to throw a fireball. He actually does his wind pose. You can't see it because he's off the camera, but he does the lay down point of screen wind pose, which is pretty sick. Whoever coded that in 2D has got like. I was trying to film this a little bit earlier, having fun playing loop, but I had to nerf this Quico character a shit ton. And nerf looks run, it's a little too good. Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Now you can see it. That's <laughs> so fucking sick. <clears throat> see, I've been tweaking a lot of characters right now, working on some balance changes to the game. Uh, making a lot of bullshit cheap characters like I'm taking some of the OMSI characters and getting rid of their dodges because those under night and Arxis characters don't need those fucking rolls There's too many of them to have them so Get rid of them so they could just play the bear because in BB tag if had those characters had rolls man then Yeah, that game would have been super unbalanced It's like I'm trying to get rid of his roll, but I don't know how shit for a level combo. That nerf really shows, I like it. You could just toss that fucking beach ball and be like plus a million, so I had to nerf that shit. I'm gonna wait. That's gonna kill me probably. Yep. <laughs> characters are fucking stupid, but people like them, so I keep them in the game because they're pretty good for challenges and requests, but... I was thinking how many counts that is. One, three, four. Three, walk under. One, two, three. There you go. So if you put pause time in your in your guard, yeah, it adds like certain ticks, so it gives you more time to roll away or punish, and it's really good. So I add that to really busted characters, really helps you punish them. And get rid of rolls if you can't like this, because this fucking cocksucker just keeps beating me with rolls. <laughs> I'm you know, keeping him out, but when he gets in, like, the, the fucking dodge moves are so fucking stupid. It's like you can't jab him because watch, I'm just gonna... Okay, that's a bad example. <laughs> See, I mean, you get in the corner, you can't get out unless you have a roll or something, so... So I nerfed that to... He's just gonna keep fucking chasing me right there. See shit like that can sucks. And four. God damn it. It's time to last one, so he got that punish off. Fuck you, 
bitch. Get off me with that shit. He's so much fun to play. Like his fireballs look really dope. Shit last, holy shit, I made a mistake with that. Get off me, you fucking bitch. And what really helps too is if you nerf priority. If you see a priority any higher than two or one, nerf that shit down. Because that means anytime they press a button, it's going to beat yours every time. Fuck, get off me, bitch. and jumped. Don't okay, bitch. Alright, fuck that asshole. So let's... <clears throat> yeah, so... So yeah, around... <clears throat> yeah, see, like, I tweaked these characters. Nerfed him. I did some did some tweaks to Beef's butthead because they were pretty safe. I'll go ahead and see if I can show you some of the nerfs on that one. Let's see what else. Like, I have to go through a lot of these characters, like the under the Arxis characters. Get rid of their dodges. They don't need dodges. I had to nerf a little bit of Yukiko stuff because she had her fans and stuff were too. She had way too much pause time on hit and no recovery, almost no recovery at all. And the opponent had too much pause time. So basically, if she's zoning you, you're just never ever going to not even get in, but you're not going to be able to move. You're just sitting there blocking hit or block. She was too safe with all that. So if you watch like the, her fight, her as the AI fight anybody, so they just can't, they can't fucking move. <laughs> but yeah, so there's some tweaks and you can get around it. So like, I know I have to nerf Lychee because Lychee has like some move with her pull. That. I don't think in Blaze it was an overhead, but in this game it is, and like I can't fight that character at all until I nerf her. So and I feel like doing it right now. So I nerfed uh, Cartman because he's his uh his because I'm fat. The Texan move when he turns large, your hit box is like or hurt box is like glued to him, so you can't move, and he just gets the stomp. And there's a glitch where he he can do it and just do it over and over again to the stomp. So he gets like there there are matches I put him in where he would step on someone like to spin bar for the team like three or four times and just get kills. And I couldn't nerf the damage on it, so I just got rid of the move so he doesn't have the sumo move anymore. And a lot of his uh his little uh like little Tatsu thing he does where he's got the Japanese hat on. I had to nerf that down on pause time so he's a little more unsafe on that. Uh I was thinking about nerfing Stan, but Stan's pretty pretty fair. Um, I had to nerf the dog shit out of these two, and it's still pretty tough to fight them, but... Because if you do ticks, you get chances to tech out and make more advantages. Uh, I nerfed Joe and Stan, both very justifiably, and now... Like when he does the it move, where he turns into uh, Pennywise and goes towards, he has so much priority that you couldn't even jump over it. So now I have it to where he has almost no priority. And now the move is unsafe to where you can get a quick punish if you're fast enough. Like if you get a good jab or a DP. If you have a slow attack, depending on the kind of character you like to play in your Mugen to fight a Joe, you may have to really adjust it down. So let me show you what I mean. You can't see my mouse. At least I don't think you can. But so like here. So the higher the front number is the more disadvantage they have. So let's say you have a dp with a ryu and let's say this is 14 and the one on the right says 30. what will happen there is basically you're at a disadvantage from him doing a dp so you switch it around and because of all stuff like this now i think i know why it takes long for console games to get patches because they have to go in here and look at every single little nook and cranny of what they as a team you know came up with to tweak and switch moves and now when it's time to balance and nerf shit they have to go back and readjust shit and I'm pretty sure it's not easy to do all the time so when you go in here fight effect you learn shit like that <clears throat> so anyway I'm gonna show you guys some more loot games so I'm gonna show you uh, the stand nerfs we'll go to Deadpool I love this stage so oh, 
so I'll go ahead and talk through some of the adjustments I gave him. So that move right there is still safe because he doesn't really use it. That right there is unsafe as shit, as you see. So I made that because he would just spam that move before. So I got rid of it. So he needs to only do it in combos. And the roll move. Let me see if he'll do it. That is so sick. They did a great job with that. And it's because if you don't nerf that move when you first download Stan, like I left that move safe because, well, you can just punish it anyway, but. I see right there, he's already good with doing that, so. to meet her. <clears throat> See, he does have his DP, but his fireballs are really good. Ah, God damn it! See, I took that sprite out because that whole that whole pill rape bullshit. I don't like looking at it, so I got rid of it. I'm trying to get rid of the move, but I can't find the thing for it. I nerfed that move too because he was too safe. Like if you, uh, uh, fucking bitch. Like if you uh, leave that flip move alone, he'll go into me right after it. He'll just block any attack you do. It's too safe. So I nerfed it to where it's at least punishable. Have a bug. Oh, he doesn't. He goes back in. He must have a good engine. Try to do super. Yeah, he's got a. He's got a weird hit state. And that's basically looking into whatever might have caused it. You gotta edit it to right there and then he can just jump out. If I left it the way it was before, I would've, I would've been sitting there eating that all over and over again. some of these inputs I need a new stick let's see if we have a different color that doesn't look shitty um, I see I added uh, 16 there's a pretty dope version of uh, monkey boy and scorpion that I downloaded from martial masters somebody made it like a KOF 2002 UM version of them and they're very very effective so Matter of fact, let me see if I can run a set with uh, Scorpion. What a random stage. <clears throat> yeah, this uh, he doesn't have any other good skins. I gotta get in the, gotta get in there with him. He's so good. Nice. Ah. Oh, 
Yeah, I gotta look at the author's name, but he did he did a great job with this blue creation. I think it's nostalgic. I don't think I'm making a tutorial on how to edit characters, but I'm still learning shit, so, like, I can't nerf a couple characters I've done already and just show a video. It's not gonna, not gonna benefit anybody. Nice. So sick. No. Damn it. Actually, I'm gonna switch this one up and pick Dawson just for this match because I, I was running this set earlier. It's pretty good, so I like this matchup. I mean, it's tough, but yeah. Where is he? Oh, he's down there. What is this? Hello? There you go. Sorry about that, guys. Had something happened where I guess the pause button or something got stuck, so I had to restart the game. So we'll just get a couple more uh, tests in here. I'm going to continue with the Sim and uh, Scorpion matchup. Mm. Oh, dope. The stage is nice. So you just gotta put the wall forward and then just then check. Whoever did that did a great job with the scorpion. And see, there's, there's like a bug in this matchup where like my yoga fires just won't come off for a minute. So I gotta fix that side of the screen. Trying to do that and then teleport behind it. I keep getting 
hand grab. So you can only fight this matchup if you have meter. At least for Sin. If you don't, it's hard. He does, he does anything he can to make sure you ain't throwing shit. So you use the meter, you get a chance to move forward, get about two hits off of him. He can't leave himself open because he goes low instantly. Street Fighter 4 version where he does the Super Bowl that fire far miles, but I don't waste that kind of meter, I can't save it that long. I gotta fight him right right in the center. God damn it, I hate that. I gotta fix whatever that is on Cody. It only seems to happen in this matchup though. I forget I have 
have, uh, he's got, like, third strike capabilities.
I think I'll do one more with Luke because I made this video a little bit long, but I'm having fun just chatting, playing, and talking about some shit. Like, so yeah, I've been having a lot of <clears throat> fun with a whole bunch of new characters. I don't feel like getting into the Patrick nerfs because he's a pain in the ass, so we'll just play. Uh, actually, we'll do a tag match, so. Show a couple more cool characters I, I tweaked, and we'll see if they'll do their part. So I'm going to play Luke. Last match because it's getting late, so. <clears throat> Alright, so we'll run him. We got Deadpool from Marvel 3, which is pretty sick. I did a lot of tweaks to my Thor, so we'll grab him. And. Actually, we'll put that, that motherfucker on my team. <laughs> Alright, and let's show you guys some of the buffs, tweaks, nerfs, some other characters, so we'll add. Madriga is pretty, he's fairly balanced, but he's still a piece, piece of shit. Uh, Beavis, I nerfed a lot of his shit, because he had, like, his ball, his rolling ball was unblockable, so a lot of AI had a problem with it, so when I fought against him, I now made it, you just block low to avoid it, and I made his chainsaw move have more, more gaps, so when he runs, you can, you can, uh, mash out, push block, or roll away, get a punish on him for free, same thing with butthead swing. We'll go ahead and add him to... And we'll give... Who else did we kind of nerf? Let's put Narakami. All I did was get rid of his dodge, but... Let's see what we could do. Got a pretty good team, so let's let's try this out. 
to be the last game for this video. <clears throat> And I've been using Streamlabs, if you guys can see the new layout, where I have my YouTube.com, Mugen for Evo there. I'm going to have a new layout coming soon that I'm going to make. So, for the for the start of the videos. I think I have to re-download Bandicam to do it, though, which kind of annoys me, but we'll get there. Oh, shit, I like the stage, too. See, I nerfed, I nerfed that move because he could just throw that shit out and made it a little bit unsafe on block. So he has to commit and get get checked for it. I mean, it's hard to punish him if you don't have like projectile or anything. But see right there, I made that unsafe for Beavis. Cause... See right there. But it's still kind of the same. I just nerfed his fling kick, and this has more right there has more time for you to punish it like that. Alright, let's let Scorpion do his thing. And then I, I buffed Thor, so he's got more advantages on some things. And I gave him Marvel style combo, so now he has more uh, special cancelable stuff. I see since you can't you can't just roll through shit anymore. He's gotta sit there and take it like everybody else. So he can still dodge backwards, but that's not as much as dodging neutral or forward. See I'll show you why see I'll cross block it. And it'll do that, but I now made the other one. See right there, and that's unsafe, but I yeah. Deadpool don't want to fight. You get your ass out here and participate. Gotta hate that coward ass AI. Like whenever I try to heal, they attack themselves back in. It's like, God damn it. I mean, they attack me back in. <laughs> I didn't want, I didn't want the, I don't want the cross, cross attack characters to be weak or anything. I just want to get rid of the dodges. Because you can't do anything when you're trying to punish them and they just roll through every move. My Drigo's nerfs came through mostly the heavy punch attack and a lot of the specials being safe, similar to uh, Quico, but Quico was, was more bullshit, so I had to... See right there, you get more time to punish. And this time... I always find that fun to tag in while you're being comboed. <laughs> Yeah, the fucking grab. So dumb. Okay. Tim, <laughs> you definitely don't want to fight. Tim, you're doing good, though. Press the wrong button, he does save, but he didn't save in that instance. Nice. It's okay, it's okay, guys. End of the game. See, I try to give that less time so he could jump up a combo, but the coding wouldn't let me do it. Like, it made the animation weird, so. All you can do is try to get a mix up. <laughs> I hate when they, when they interrupt each other's fucking supers, that's so stupid. I 
want your ass anywhere near me. You can just take all these. My zone is better than yours anyway, so. Ah, oh, I missed time to block. Ah, oh, goddamn it. Fucking bitch. Try to throw a fireball in there, absorb my hurt box. Man, do I hate that asshole's grab. Your shit's worth it, old shit. <laughs> thing a lot more unsafe because he could just kind of do it so god the AI never blocks Beavis is bullshit so yeah maybe that not unblockable anymore he just, he just that was pretty sick still persisted in his own combo If Thor gets an advantage, he will just zone you, which is fine. He can't do that to Narakami, but he'll try. <laughs> I got block love, baby boy. Nice. I wish that Mighty Smash was coded a little bit better, because I, he only has one hit. I get that more damage, but um, yeah, so he'd still take that. He's got so much help, just like Marvel 3. <laughs> God, you fucking asshole. I hate that fucking grab so much. That's why I try to keep his ass away from me, because I can't react to that bullshit. I can't keep him out, so... To the old Narakami right there, would have tried to dodge my punches. Now he's standing there. Damn, I want some playtime. God damn it, Narakami. Oh. Just having a hard time loading all these characters. So let me switch Deadpool because he's not doing much help for me. Let me throw... Let me get Nappa. Go, Ken. Who else is pretty good? Oh, no. Get your little busted bullshit ass to help out. Let's go to Deadpool. I'm loading a ton of character movements. Zoning's not gonna beat mine, dude. Nice. Fucking put it overhead. That lowers so fast. Oh no, hey Achi. I'm just gonna keep that big. God, I hate that shit. They can tag in post combo. But it's most 
obviously the computer's working hard because of the mic. That's why it looks more laggy. I don't have the strongest laptop, so. That grab can suck a dick, bro. It's so stupid. Doesn't even do a lot of damage. It just looks stupid. I know, I know if the priority on that leg would go move, but yeah. Because a lot of times you just throw it out and you'd have to eat it, but now you have to just be a certain distance. I did a good job nerfing my Drigo, but he's still a pain in the ass. I know what I know what to pick for the last for the last match. They're starting to let me down. Where's this motherfucker at? This motherfucker here never lets me down. Dark champion is so stupid. I'm gonna have you guys witness the bullshit. Same stage. Alright. Dark champion is bullshit. <laughs> Fun to have my team back up. Because when you when you add uh, guard pause time, in the game. God damn that fucking grab! Never know how to block that because it's so fast. Does he not have? So stupid. <laughs> it's like Dormammu mixed with fucking Gears. You can dodge all you want, you're not beating him. He's so stupid. That character's dumb. He just literally do that all day. <laughs> That was a nice assist mix up. Good shit by Goken. <laughs> Made that unsafe. His dive kick used to be super safe. <laughs> Get him, Goku. of a game called Eternal Champions. I was watching gameplay for it, I was like, the game don't look all that, but he looks dope. He's really cheap. <laughs> he just moves around the whole time. much of a pain in the ass as he used to be so it's more it's more fair to deal with him now because like, you could just you would go for like a punch mix up or a pressure combo he would just roll away from everything you couldn't hit him and from the animation was just so stupid so i just got rid of the move entirely the problem is i gotta do that with all the fucking arxis characters and I love, I gotta say, I love how the Dragon Ball characters look, to, look in this game. They look really good. Whoever went on Mugen Archive and found out people who uh, coded into Mugen the, the Dragon Ball Fighters characters. I just wish somebody did 16 so I could play him. But they haven't done him yet, so. 16 or Zamasu. Or Videl. If I get Videl, I'd be happy as fuck. But with the same man assist. <laughs> Uh, 
This character is so fucking cool, dude. I love him. The Eternal Champion. Look at this shit. Just eat combos. Oh, my turn. See, I made that. I made that more safe so you can. Luke can't do anything about it, but a lot of characters with the rolls, good quick DPs can punish it. but it still doesn't erase it. <laughs> ah, damn, that was sick. Narakami was the first one to die on that team. And dodging won't save you. So yeah, a couple more videos later about character nerfs and other things I did, but you guys just you know just stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next video. It's been fun.